What up, folks? And welcome back to my channel. It's my brand new. This is Trilly BTV. And let's get into it, man. Trilly Rants. Here's another one. Episode 2. Hashtag 2. Whatever you want to call it. Disney. Disney MCU. Yes, uh, it was coming without a doubt. Um, pretty much, they recently stated that they are in the process of canceling many uh, upcoming Disney slash MCU films. And are you surprised? Without a doubt, no. Um, it's no surprise that right now the Disney MCU is pretty much in the toilet right now. Um, when it comes to flop project after project after project, it's just been bad, man. And can you really blame it on superhero fatigue or is it just bad writing? Me, of course, bad writing. Um, we all know Disney MCU uh, was a heavy hitter a couple years ago, of course, with the uh, Avengers Infinity War, Avengers Endgame. Those days were just golden now. You know, you, you really consider it golden. Um, and honestly, it seemed like this has been a downhill ever since. Um, me personally, I honestly feel like they were just really still, uh, I don't know, they, they, they were still riding, you know, the, the wave of, you know, the, the past hype when it comes to the end game and all the previous Disney movies, Disney MCU movies. Um, here's an article right here on ScreenGeek.com. says, Disney reportedly cancels three Marvel MCU movies. In a recent state of the Marvel Cinematic Universe film has received division response from fans. Yes, that's very true. Such as it looks like Disney reportedly canceled as many as three different MCU movies previously set to be made in Mar by Marvel Studios. And uh, look, like I said, I'm not surprised. Honestly, it's a smart move, but <clears throat> I feel like a damage done. Um, ah, man, possibly, but uh, we're gonna see because you know we still got probably movies. You know, Deadpool, Wolverine. That's gonna be a heavy hitter. And uh, of course, you got the upcoming Spider-Man movies. Um, you know, from Tom Holland Spider-Man to possibly uh, Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield. There are long movies that is rumored to be coming out. But here's my thing. Disney, why did it take so long for y'all to realize that this is not working out for y'all? I remember the first one that, eh, it kind of received mixed reviews was The Eternals. Um, without a doubt, I watched it. That movie was very boring and the writing was horrible and it was just, you know, eh, like I don't, I don't understand what they were going with. But yet, it kind of did its numbers to an extent because it was still riding off of the hype of, you know, the past MCU movies. But uh, watching it now, like, no, that movie pretty much it aged like milk. The movie was horrible and so on and so on. I mean, now, you know, fast forward to recent state. I mean, uh, you had the Marvels. Without a doubt, it was a flop. And, you know, I don't even want to get into the whole, well, you know, no, I take that back. I'm going to get into it. Um, a lot of people saying, what's the issue? Is it bad writing or is it, you know, the type of quote unquote agenda they're pushing? You know, and honestly, my opinion of uh, whatever, whatever agenda that y'all Disney or MCU with what they're trying to do, quote unquote, woke. All of that is fine. But here's my thing. When it comes to the writing, that's when it matters. And that's what y'all lack of. Y'all cannot constantly produce the same generic type of movie or TV series. It's like the same plot. Now we get, of course, you know, it's superhero movies. You know, of course, a lot of them are going to be, you know, very similar. But it seems like y'all more focused on pushing this, you know, this type of image more than, you know, the actual, you know, context. You know, the, the original, you know, what what we, what drew, what drew, dro drove us to, you know, the theaters and whatnot. And honestly, we can't say like, oh, y'all just women bashing, you know, y'all this, that, and the third. Y'all can't. That, of course, you're going to have some ignorant people out there. But, you know, honestly, bro, you can't fully blame that. There are plenty of female as superhero movies, superheroes that are just a one that are very beloved for men and women, children of all colors, you know, all you know backgrounds or whatnot. Hell, you know, we saw it on you know uh, Infinity War, Endgame and stuff. But pretty much, you had all of the women and stuff like that. They teamed up, they were started kicking ass, and we loved that. That was amazing. But you know why it worked? Because the script was just amazing. I mean, it's I honestly feel like man, it just it just got lazy. So many Disney Plus shows back to back to back has just bombed, and yet it was the same bullshit. One of my biggest issues was the fact that y'all decided to kind of, you know, get rid of, you know, Captain America, you know, Iron Man. Yes, we get it. It was part of, you know, its own, you know, the actors in general, you know, they were like, okay, if this is it, you know, we done enough, we fulfilled, you know, the, 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 the character, you know, of, you know, Tony Stark and Steve Rogers. But it seemed like y'all just instantly, y'all just tried to replace them with these new superheroes. I wanted, I remember. Back when Captain Marvel first came out, that y'all literally said y'all she was gonna be the next Iron Man. No, um, Iron Heart. 
was that was, she was supposed to be like the next Iron Man. Um, no, uh, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, ever since Black Panther two came out, that's the last I really heard of Ironheart and stuff. Um, now I would say yes, me being, of course, me being black and seeing Ironheart, you know, playing by you know, uh, Hayden. or uh, Riri Riri Richardson, <laughs> she's pretty much like a huge like you know a uh, 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 genius tech. You know, she knows how to build you know suits just like Tony Stark and whatnot. The black in me was like, you know what, that's dope. That's a good representation of man, young black women. They can do more than what, you know, they feel like they can only do. Then the comic version of me, pretty much is like, she's not familiar yet. Ironheart is still like a new superhero. She was made back in like 2016. I remember the comic books. Uh, and she has never really been a popular character. Now, that does not, does not mean that the MCU can pretty much create, uh, build up, you know, any type of superhero. I mean, yes, you had Iron Man. And you had uh, other superheroes that they weren't really as popular before the MCU movies, and they built them up to where they're and just a real, well-rounded, you know, beloved character. And I feel like in this case, y'all have not done that with any of the latest uh, superhero movies. Uh, even Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel, all of them, they're just, they're just not light. You know, I'm sorry. Um, the movies were terrible. The plot was just, you know, very just, eh, boring. Um, so, I don't know, yes... It seemed like Disney made y'all lost millions, if not probably billions at this point. And, you know, which is a terrible thing, but hey, hopefully it's a learning lesson. But yeah, um, honestly, I feel like it's been a slap in the face, especially with the Disney Plus series. Uh, Echo was the latest one, and that that was garbage. Horrible, very disappointing. Um, I was excited for Kingpin to come back, and, you know, terrible. We're not even going to get him the She-Hawk. <clears throat> Once again, terrible. <clears throat> and it seems like y'all have a huge... You have a consistency of just watering down popular characters, even with Daredevil on Ironheart. I mean, on uh, She-Hulk. That was just terrible. Very terrible to, uh, I mean, right now, man, do we even want, uh, do we even want uh, Daredevil to come back? You know, I'm sure he will, He will, but, you know, wow. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's just my thing. It seems like y'all focus on these specific superhero characters and y'all water down these ones that already, you know, made, you know, a legacy. You know, they're, you know, they're pretty much known, you know, well, you know, real beloved and stuff. You know, I don't know, I don't know who's behind that. But obviously, I mean, it's just obviously it backfired because, yeah, um, a lot of these movies have been canceled. I really had no interest of uh, seeing them. So, yeah, The Eternals 2, no, uh, that should have been, I'm um, sure that was, you know, it would have been a dead on arrival. So, obviously, y'all caught on quick. So, kudos to y'all. But I don't know. We're going to see. Marvel, y'all get it together. And, again, y'all can't really say superhero fatigue because you have these non-superhero movies that are being made. And they're flopping too. I don't know, man. Hollywood in general right now, these movies, they're just not really doing it for me. They're not doing it for a lot of people, man. Um, and it's crazy how a lot of these uh, directors, they bash superhero movies just for them to put out movies themselves. And, you know, they <clears throat> pretty much, they flop at the box office. So, yeah. I don't know, man. Y'all get in the conversation, brother, man. Y'all let me know. Um, is the MCU, is it pretty much over with? Uh, we're gonna see. Um, Sony, obviously they're not doing good of a job either. Madam Webb, oh my god, that shit, that is terrible. Very misleading. Um, pretty much already said uh, uh, Craven the Hunter, that's pretty much about to be a no-go. A lot of people already bashed that from the first trailer, so man, I don't know. Um, Spot, I mean, not Spider-Man. Pretty much Venom 3, The Last Dance. People are, unfortunately, they're already tired of Venom, which is crazy. I mean, Venom's always, you know, a well, like, you know, anti-hero, but, you know, uh, the movie's kind of been, you know, eh, Venom let the big carnage. It was good, but it was like, I feel like, you know, though, a lot of Sony movies, they're kind of, like, outdated. They're good, but you can tell, like, it's a movie that looks like it was made back in, like, the mid-2000s. So, yeah. Like I said, we're going to see, man. Truly Rants, MCU. Is it over with? Y'all let me know in the comment section, boy, man. And I'm out.